Today's video is gonna be all about how to shop around a belly. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about how to fix common mistakes we make while shopping. Plus, I'm gonna be sharing with you the key pieces to add to your wardrobe this summer. If you're new here, my name is Chi Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and a lifestyle. If that sounds like something you're into, then sis, you found your tribe. All you have to do now is subscribe. We all know the struggle of seeing a look online, okay, falling in love with it, ordering it, getting it, being disappointed because it didn't work. I'm guilty of some of these mistakes too. I've been there, okay, and I wanna save you some time, some money, and some heartache. I hate to be making this disclaimer, but if you love to show off your belly, you love to highlight the belly, if you don't care about shopping for your body type or your shape, then I'm gonna be honest, this video is not for you. I have tons of videos chock full with outfit inspiration, lookbooks, et cetera, et cetera. You can check one of those videos out. I'm not here to tell you what to spend your money on. I'm not here to judge you or your styling choices or your personal style. This is just my opinion from my experience and I'm sharing with you what worked for me. Now that we got all those disclaimers out of the way, this intro has been too long, let's get into this video. So the first item you should not waste your money on this summer is denim skirts. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because denim on denim is definitely trending. Denim in itself is trending. We're in the Canadian tuxedo that's back in. And when you have denim at the forefront, we tend to see a lot more pieces made in denim. Crop tops, corsets, jeans. We're seeing a lot more skirts, etc., etc. In my personal opinion, the traditional denim skirt does nothing for you if you have a belly. I feel like nine times out of ten what denim skirts do is that they basically create camel toe and really highlight the belly like especially if it's made out of that rigid fabric. I don't know about you guys but on my body it's really really hard to win with denim skirts. Denim always tends to bunch up around the crotch and when it does it really just draws attention to the midsection to that area. It highlights the fupa. Time a hundred so I wouldn't waste my money on denim skirts now they do sometimes make denim skirts with some stretch and maybe you can kind of wiggle those you know kind of make that work but to me it's just not worth it to be honest at least in the traditional sense of a denim skirt however instead of wasting your money on a denim skirt here's what you spend your money on instead wrap skirts they're coming back especially wrap maxi skirts maxis are having a moment again I'm here for it maxi dresses maxi skirts skirts. Also, I touched on this when I made this video in the winter but or slash fall, drape skirts. They're your best friend. They skim the belly. That extra fabric that they put, that extra ruching really is super flattering. It typically drapes really well on your body. And again, with a wrap skirt, because you have that additional piece of fabric, it really hides and covers that lower belly. It de-emphasizes the area. You don't notice it. And so both styles, in my opinion, are a better choice than opting for a denim skirt. Now, if you want something short, you could definitely do like a skirt. You could also do, you know, a mini wrap skirt as well. It'll give you the same silhouette that you would get from a denim skirt without that piece that highlights your fupa and lower belly. The next item that you should definitely be shopping for this summer are gonna be your bias cuts. Bias cuts look great on most body types. And I feel like whether you're an apple shape or whether you have a fupa, either way, what a bias cut does for you is that it skims your curves, right? It actually creates the illusion of a curve because something about how it's cut really just makes the fabric drape in a certain way that's very flattering. Now a bias cut dress also for my girls who are more rectangular shaped will help to give you the illusion of curves. For my apple shape, okay, it'll also skim the belly area and if you get one that has a slit, you know, you can definitely draw the eye to your sex legs okay because most of my girls with apple shapes tend to have really nice shapely legs and you can really draw attention to the thigh to the leg area so definitely add a bias cut dress a bias cut skirt and as I'm talking about this of course you know I've got you I'm gonna put links okay in the description box featuring examples of everything I'm talking about in this video in case you're in the market for it some of this stuff you can just look in your wardrobe and pull these pieces out you probably already got it okay 
Okay, you probably already got it. But just in case you're interested, there will be links in the description box for you. So add some bias cut pieces to your wardrobe this season. So the next item not to waste your money on this summer uh, is going to be skinny pants. Now I know like skinny jeans had us in a chokehold for a long time. So I'm not talking about skinny jeans. I'm talking about skinny cigarette, those type pants, especially the ones that have the zipper on the side, even the ones that have the zipper on the front. Like if you have a fupa, if you even have like more of an apple shape where you have volume all over your belly, those type of pants to me just make you kind of look pregnant in my opinion especially if they're more high-waisted I would stay away from skinny pants and the reason why I say skinny pants versus skinny jeans because you can kind of finesse skinny jeans if you get the right rise for your body type and if you get the right weight of denim for your body type skinny jeans can work for you if you have a fupa or an overall belly however those like jegging style skinny jeans the ones that kind of click to your body kind of like a skinny pant to me those have never done anything for us girls with bellies and if you even if you remember if you recall when Fashion Nova came out with those jeans that literally made Fashion Nova they were like that kind of tissue thin jegging type denim and it was great for my hourglass girls okay it was great for my girls with the hip to the waist ratio right but if you even had a teeny bit of a fupa it was on show it was highlighted all right I felt like a lot of us just got used to seeing it or would like do the half tuck to kind of and like de-emphasize it but in my opinion skinny pants really are not the best instead of a skinny pant here's what you want to spend your money on some wide leg pants now it doesn't have to be extreme with the wide leg you know it could be more of like a culotte type of wide leg right I always recommend wide leg pants for my apple shapes just because it really helps to balance the hip to um, stomach volume the difference between the two and if you have a little fupa and you get the right pair all wide leg pants are not created equal. I always opt for ones that have some kind of pleating in the front because it really helps to de-emphasize the belly and the fupa. That extra fabric kind of just skims that area. That always looks super great. So instead of a skinny pant this summer, definitely embrace the wide legs. It looks 10,000 times better if you have a belly. The next thing you should be investing your money on this summer is gonna be shirt dresses slash shift dresses. They kind of have the same sort of silhouette. So they're more of like a box, they're more boxy and typically short, but they do have some midi versions and even some maxi versions that look great. Why shirt dresses really work when you have a belly is because of the fact that it buttons from top to bottom. It creates a vertical line from your neck all the way to where it stops. That always Always makes the midsection or the column of your body appear slimmer okay now for my ladies with fupas I recommend a shirt dress with a belt because I think that really helps to cinch in your waist and gives you kind of like a shape but because of the volume from the shirt dress it skims the belly area so you're getting that shape that you want the divine shape that you want it's skimming the belly area and so it's creating that ideal silhouette that we're all looking for right now for my ladies who are more have a lot more volume around the belly more of my apple shaped ladies I would ditch the belt because I feel like when you put the belt especially if you put it at your widest point it really highlights the width of your belly and you don't want to do that right the whole point is to de-emphasize the belly area instead I will go for a shorter shirt dress because it will help to like highlight your legs okay and if you crack open a couple of buttons it also helps to highlight your neck area the collotage area so you're actually drawing the eye away from the areas that you don't want people to notice I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in a video but I always say that clothing is kind of like makeup you can use your clothes to highlight and contour okay draw attention to certain places and de-emphasize certain places and this is going to be a perfect example for that so another thing I'm not wasting my money on and I touched on this in my things I'm not buying this summer video and that's going to 
to be body cons. I know this is such a polarizing subject and some people will fight me to the death because they love their body cons and if you do, more power to you. However, if you're looking for a style or a fit that does not highlight the belly area, then I would stay away from the body cons. All that happens when you wear super clingy fabrics around your belly, when you have a bigger belly, all that does is just draw attention right to your belly. And I said this in other videos, but like I want my clothes to complement my personality. I don't want them to distract from who I am. I don't want when somebody first look at me that they notice that the dress I'm wearing is too tight. And again, this is all personal preference. If that doesn't matter to you, if you love your body cons, if you want to wear rock a body con, if you are proud of your visible belly line, rock it. I kind of want to touch on this a little bit just because somebody does not want to highlight a certain part of their body, i.e. their belly, their arms, the cellulite on your thighs, that does not mean that they don't love themselves. You can absolutely value yourself, love yourself, and still prefer not to highlight those area, um, certain parts of your body, okay? I'm not one of those people that will preach. I definitely believe in finding confidence. I definitely believe all women deserve to show up in spaces and cheek and feel confident and look good and be treated well. Definitely, I'm 100% for all of that. But I also feel like when you shop and you dress in a way that highlights the parts of your body that you love, you feel good because you look good to yourself. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Instead of bodycon, invest in fit and flair dresses. What I like about fit and flare dresses is that they do all of the work for you. They come in at the right places. They flare out at the right places. You can go short. You can go long. Whatever really makes you feel comfortable. You can do a midi, a maxi. Helps to de-emphasize the belly and highlight the waist. And for the most part, it works on all body types. However, I will say if you have weight around your entire belly, so you have volume around your entire belly, to be more intentional about the placement of the belt if it has a built-in belt to kind of move it up a little bit higher so it's like your smallest point instead of your widest point so I always tell my mom that like she has more of an apple shape not to put the belt on the widest part of her belly but rather to move it up more towards her bust okay so that's the only tip I would give you with that if it has a belt now you can get some fair pieces that don't have a belt and typically I find that those pieces actually have a higher waist kind of like built in. Okay, again, I will put some links for you guys, some shopping links for you guys in the description box down below, just in case you're looking to add some more fit and flair pieces to your wardrobe. And I recommend picking up one or two or even three of those pieces to add. They're super easy. And in my opinion, dresses like that are like a confidence booster because they just make you feel so flirty, so cute, okay? Perfect for date night, all those type of things, all right? The next thing you should definitely be investing in this season, honestly, year round, it's gonna be blazers. Obviously, since we are going into the hotter season, I would recommend things made out of linen, like a lightweight blazer, I don't tend to love online blazers because they tend to lean a little bit more cheap. However, a linen blazer is great. It's going to be light. It's going to be breathable. A white linen blazer, a cream linen blazer, even I would dare say a black linen blazer. These are all kind of like closet staples for the season. What I like about a blazer is again, it has a built in structure. And when you have a belly, you're always looking for structure to kind of help you carve out a waist. So it has a wide shoulders, you know, it has strong shoulders usually has a waist shape and built into the blazer and then it flares out around the hips kind of imitating an hourglass shape. Also it helps to create a vertical line around the center of your body which is always slimming. Okay, so definitely invest in a blazer. And for my ladies with fupas, blazers with belts are your best friend. I just saw a couple. I will link for you down below. I may or may not have already purchased. Um, so I'm gonna link it for you down below. Blazers with belts are your best friends. If you have more of an apple shape, carry more volume around the top of your stomach, I would not go for a blazer with a belt. I would just go for a standard blazer. And I would also go for a kimono. I also 
also love, love, love kimonos for this time of year. If you don't love your arms, a kimono is your best friend. If you're trying to create a length in yourself, maybe you're more on the petite side and you want to appear a little bit taller, maybe you're vertically challenged, a kimono is always your best friend because again, it creates that vertical line. It's very slimming, it's very elongating. Again, if that's what you're into. And most importantly, it just kind of drapes around your body. No one can really tell while looking at you in a kimono how wide your midsection is, right? So it does a great job at really creating the illusion of a smaller torso. Definitely put one or two kimonos on rotation this summer. I also like how versatile they are. You can wear them as cover up, you can wear them in every day. You know, so if you are enjoying the video so far and you've got some tips and some tricks, got in your pen and paper and have jotted down some pieces that you plan to add to your wardrobe, then this is a great time to hit that like button. And this is a great time to share this video. You know, share it with your good sis, your cousin, your bestie, because sharing is caring. And I don't know about you guys, but like, these are the kind of tips I wish people would have shared with me when I started my style journey over a decade ago. Bonus! I have a bonus category you should be shopping for and that's gonna be your empires and your A-lines. Empires and A-line silhouettes are flattering in all body types if you carry weight around the stomach, especially if you have a fupa. I love a good empire waist. It really kind of like cinches around the bust and then it flares out everywhere else. Personally, I like to keep my empire short because I feel like you can use that style to kind of highlight your legs. It lends itself to be a little bit more flirty. I feel like when, they're too, when it's like a midi length, it's kind of leaning towards more like nightgown and a maxi length is great as well but I would do a maxi or a mini in the empire style. Now I feel like I'm gonna get questions about this shirt and this little combo that I'm rocking right here. This is actually a new in find and if the haul video where it's featured is already live I'll link it but it's a Wally World find and y'all it's actually part of a matching set. Oh my god I love the little details around the arms. So 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 cute and if the video is not live already you can just hit the shop my outfits link. It'll take you to my LTK and I always share 99.9% .9 of the things that I wear and the things that I feature on LTK. This will be linked there for you and while you're there make sure to download the app and follow me because folks who follow me on LTK typically get the tea first on what I'm loving, what I'm shopping for. So if you like my taste, if you like the pieces that I pick out and that I wear then I highly recommend and you follow me there and then you can also follow so many of your favorite creators are already on that app so you can totally follow them as well let's continue the conversation down below if you have any tips any tricks if you found any cute pieces that really work for our curvy bodies with bellies make sure to let us know in the comments down below I'm here to learn okay and I have the best conversations with you guys in the comments down below. So come on, let's keep chatting, okay? I'm not going anywhere. Check out this video and this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.